What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called Pitchless.com. You should go to it. The link is in the description. It is everything you want for baseball in one place. I do all these videos there. I write about starting pitching all the time. And we have like 100 staffers. It's insane. You should go to it. And you should also sub to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell. Help me out. Give a like. Okay, we're going to talk about Martin Perez, though. Because he's been doing ridiculous things. It's what I call a Vargas rule which is where there's a pitcher that normally isn't very good but is on an amazing stretch. And we don't expect it to last a whole year, but he's clearly in rhythm and on a roll, and we just want him to do well. So what you're going to see is you're going to see change-ups, and he does this so well just all the way down here. You're going to see cutters coming inside to, to right-handers all day. And then you're going to see two-seamers come in this way and this is what he does he avoids he avoids the heart of the plate there's like nothing here nothing here okay uh, sometimes you are going to see also uh, i don't have another color do i you're going to see some sliders come down there that's the game plan of perez and really this change up is oh it is everything how precise he is with it um but there you go there's your lovely diagram of martin perez Keep that in your mind as we watch. We're going to watch the sixth inning, then we're going to watch the fourth, and you'll understand why soon. So this is an inning of just demolition. So you got the you got the fastball in the outside corner, great. And he pairs that up with the changeup away, and that's really hard to lay off when you have that fastball coming over the plate and that one away. And look how fast he's working. Look at that changeup. This is, oh, that is pristine Martin Perez changeup. Like, that's a man in rhythm. It's insane. Like, look at that. He gets the call and do it again. And then, no, he does a back to Actually, it looks like a cutter comes back over the plate and stuns him, right? He thinks that might be a change of falling away. Instead, he's playing this game of change of come back over and then curveballs falling down. And the guys just don't know what it is. Pretty cool. So that's the first guy. That was it. Easy. Done, done, done. Four pitches. We're, we're out of here. He gets that fastball. That's a sinker going off. And he gets the call on it because he's just right there on the edge and he's just living there. Change up. Does it. This time, it's a backdoor cutter. So, that looks like it's the same pitch. It's not. So, this time, you have the cutter out here, and this is coming back in. Well, this the other time, you have the fastball here that comes out. And this is actually what David Cohn calls X games, where you make an X over the outside corner, right? And you make that X. Okay. Uh, he's doing a really good job of just getting into the the... Just messing around with the heads of the opposing batters. At 0-2, you can throw the change up now and go down. Oh, and look at that. I mean, for him to make any contact, this is what he has to do. Literally, his knee is on the ground. He's so committed to this pitch. Like, if it were a fastball, it would still be here, right? It wouldn't break all the way down here. And if it were the cutter, it would have broken down here, right? So that, oh, that's such a good placement at 0-2 to get this dumb swing. And it's an out, right? Sure, it's not a strikeout, but who cares? It's an out. Seven pitches, really only one mistake, and even that was a check swing. Like, Martin Perez is cruising, right? Tries to do that backdoor sinker, falling off the plate, does not work. Now, Cutter's going to come. Oh, and he does a sinker, that's just a ground out, right? And that is amazing location. Like, look at this. Insane. It's, it's, oh, man. I got, I got to reload this because my uh, my frame by frame isn't working. Doesn't matter. I uh, ah, oh, it's just so perfect. It's so perfect down here. Like he nails that spot. Ugh, oh, so good, just so good, right? So that's how Martin Perez does it. If you noticed, nothing, nothing was here. Nothing was hittable. Nothing was uh like here. Nothing without these righties could demolish like no it was all over here so it's completely just messed them up and when you see a guy like martin perez that doesn't have the best stuff ever that's how they do it so what i also want to show i want to show you guys the fourth inning so fourth inning wasn't as smooth so that's first of all a cutter that's supposed to come farther in all right this is one that did hang up and this is a strike here strike here strike here and they're just going to swing the entire way through as opposed to one that starts here and then comes off inside. So what happens? He hits a, he hits a single left. All right, so next batter. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, he tries to do the sinker here to get it ground out. It goes a little too low. Like we saw before in the in the six that like it came down into here. But if it comes down into the sorry, if it it's coming from this direction. So I uh, that one that got the out before it was there, but this one was already kind of borderline. And good job by Murphy because he doesn't want to swing at a pitch that starts there, right? He's thinking if it starts there, then I don't want to go after it. Perez knows. He's upset at himself. So one one oh he could probably do it back to a cutter. And he tries to do that. Lifts it up a little too high. You know? This is different than this, right? Like, this is hit more hittable. You can just kind of lean out and push it. And Murphy tries to do that. Fouls it off. A little upset at himself. I'm sure I would be, too. Oh, I love his hat. Oh, that's awesome. That, that's awesome. And Texas, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, mm. Anyway, I uh, four-seamer. That's interesting. Four-seamer coming. And I dig this because this is straight. And this is actually different than the, the, the two-seam and the cutter, right? So uh, I, I I really dig that, and that's a strike. He didn't, he didn't get that one. Fine. Throw a cutter off of that. And he does a backdoor changeup, and this one I uh, floated up, right? We want this. We want this down here. We want this here, and you can even see that's an awkward swing. So that means he's committed on it. But if he's committed on it, then you got to get it lower so that it isn't that easy to get anything on it. Does he send it for a ride? He does. All right. So I wanted to show this inning because I want to show kind of like what happens when it's not pristine. Because this was, this was the toughest inning yesterday for Martin Perez. And there's the cutter coming in. Didn't quite get it. Now, I like the adjustment of instead of going here, it went to here, right? Like he needs to get in the middle here. But this is, this is better than here because the other one resulted in a hit. There's the end of the bat. This is just 1-0. And he tried to do a sinker away, and he's not swinging. So, like, that's good. Both times he's playing off the edge of the plate and trying to get an aggressive Nuesi, but Nuesi's good. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, there is the sinker. Now he's more aggressive at 2-0 for whatever reason. He swung at that one and not the previous one. Don't know why. I'm cutter inside. Four-seamer that time, and that's good. So he's going east-west at this moment. He's playing with, like, expectations away, ex expectations inside. Once again... Nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. That's good. So now you can probably just throw a changeup down here and that would work. And he does a backdoor cutter and barely gets it. Woo! So he hadn't seen that in the entire bat, right? It was it was a four seamer here, a uh, cutter inside here, a sinker away, another fastball here, and then the cutter coming back here, right? That's how you do it. That's how you live on the edges and get by without amazing stuff, right? So that's a changeup, and oh, that one's up. That one's here. You don't want this here. Even if they get beat, you can just slap the bat out. And I will say, Benincourt was ready. Like, this is a guy who's, whose foot is, like, watch his entire foot here and the way that he stays back the entire time. Good timing on it. It just happens to go straight at Semyon, right? That could have been two runs. And I will say that because he got far enough away on it, like it was the, more the end of the bat, you know, he thought he had a little bit better of a, well, closer to a barrel on it. I mean, if it's not up like that, then, you know, it doesn't get a chance. Probably it's just a whiff, but hey, he got now. He got fortunate that went to the guy. Try to go another change again, a little bit higher again than we, we saw the pristine ones before. Man, and he gets that call. That's a huge pitch. Oh, that just... That changes the entire bat. Now Andrus needs to be so cautious, uh, conscientious of that pitch. So I would go back there, yeah. Tries to do a backdoor cutter, doesn't get the call this time. But you see how all those misses are like borderline? And uh, Perez is messing with the batters, making them think, is this a strike or not? And getting them out of their shoes. Like you saw the changeup. That was an 0-0 changeup that was out of the zone, right? And he got an out on it. Sure, it was a little bit elevated, as I was saying. But still, got them swinging on pitches that they don't want to be swinging at. And that's the game here with Perez. Right, there's a sinker away. Again, nibbling. And it's okay. Oh, before you even see this pitch. It's a 3-1 count, two outs, right? You're going against the number seven hitter. So you're going to get the eight hitter next. It's a one nothing game. At this point, a lot of guys, they see 3-1 and say, cool, I got to throw a strike. No, you don't. You have an open base. You're behind 3-1 so far. Make them hit your thing. Feel confident that you can make this work if you put them on base. Right? The worst thing you can do is make a bad pitch here and then two runs come in. 
Take your chances that you're confident in yourself to get it out if it doesn't work. Oh my lord. That's a mistake. That's a mistake from Perez. He's trying to get this down here. This is way more hittable than Andrus looks. I mean, he just thinks this is just the meatiest fastball ever. Oh my. Oh. That's filth. And then he messes him with the cutter. So, I, I, I like the approach of the cutter here. He just missed it, and that's okay. All right. <clears throat> Go get this guy. Ah, uh, you gotta make a better pitch than that. Oh, and it gets away from him. Oh, no. So now you have the same scenario you did now with Andrus. It's 1-1. One, one. You don't want the, the, the go-ahead run to come in. You have an open base, so you can be careful a little bit because it's a nine-hitter next. And there's a good changeup. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. And good cutter inside. Does he get the out? Good. All right, there you go. And he executed what he wanted to do. I mean, this isn't the best one. You know, I've seen I've seen better uh, cutters this entire time. Like this is a strike the entire way. You maybe want to be ending a little bit inside here. That's still pretty good. And that's it. And then that's that's how Martin Perez works. Um, I hope you guys have a good understanding now of of this wonderful man, of how he does his things. It's not overwhelming. And those things like oh, he's the best pitcher out there. It reminds me of like Ranger Suarez at the end of last year. It was very similar of kind of messing with locations and. Um, doing what I call is the neck beard. Um, it's, uh, it's popularized by Dallas Keuchel, where the neck beard is living here, outside the zone, off the face, right? You don't touch anything up here. Nothing. Not, you saw no pitches up here. You try as much as you can avoid the the zone. You're doing the neck beard approach down here, right? And it works. And it works for Martin Perez. He has a, a good enough command. You can see what happens, like that last inning, when guys are patient. They don't go out of the zone a ton. And when Perez throws pitches that are over the plate, we saw that double. That was the most hittable one of the entire uh, inning, save for the 3-1 change up to Andrus, but he was just selling out for fastball 3-1, I understand. Uh, but that's it. That's Martin Perez. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about him. And make sure you subscribe and like the video and all that fun stuff and leave a comment about who you want me to do next. I, I definitely listen to you guys. So... That's going to do it for today. My name is Nick Pollock, and may your bounce be low and your strikeouts high.